Hi viewer, welcome to Mihira YouTube channel. In this video we are discussing a sample OET letter writing in detail. Read the writing task first. Case note. Mrs. Ishwarya Vinod, a 58-year-old woman, is a patient in the inpatient department of a hospital, in which you are charge nurse. Hospital, Perth Women's Hospital. Patient details. Marital status, married. Height, 5 feet, 5 inch. Weight, 88 kilograms. BMI, 33 obese. Address for correspondence, number 62, Sunburn Street, Perth. Admitted, 11. 08. 2017. Date of discharge, 16. 08. 2017. Diagnosis, acute appendicitis, with, appendicular lump. Treatment, conservative management with IV antibiotics. Planned for an interval appendectomy, in six weeks. Social background, businesswoman. Hectic life, travels a lot due to work. Lives with her husband, Mr. Vinod. Two daughters both married. Elder daughter stays in Perth. About three hours away, works as an entrepreneur. Younger daughter in Canada, works as a dentist. Husband is the primary caregiver, elder daughter visits with husband once a year, scared of hospitalization, prone to anxiety, related to this. Fond of eating out, rarely cooks at home, sedentary lifestyle, complains of no time to exercise due to work, does not drink, or, smoke. Diet, whole milk, fruit drinks, fast food, and, junk foods. Medical background, known case of essential hypertension. 2014, and, diabetes mellitus, type 2, 2010, not compliant with diabetic medication. Admission diagnosis, complaints of pain in abdomen, in right iliac, fossa, since 11, 08, 2017. Pain was sudden and onset, acute in nature, and, was non-radiating. Fever documented up to 101 degree Fahrenheit, aversion to food, evaluated outside where. USG abdomen revealed acute appendicitis, admitted for further evaluation and management. Physical examination, conscious, oriented, no pallor, no icterus, no clubbing, no lymphadenopathy, no pedal edema, BP, 120, 80, temp febrile, pulse 74 per minute, respiratory rate minus 24 per minute, SPO to 99%, CNS and a D, chest bilate 2 raw entry equal, no added sounds. Nursing Management and Progress 11, 08, 2017, Abdomen CT, Plain 11, 08, 2017, Acute Appendicitis, with, Hypodense area in the region of base of appendix, at its attachment with cecum. Flamonis, Collection. Possibility of sealed perforation cannot be ruled out. Total leukocyte count, 21,000 per cubic millimeter IV fluids. Broad spectrum antibiotics, imipenem, PPI, analgesics, and tipiretics. Other supportive treatment, 6 out of 6. Regular blood sugar monitoring, 6 out of 6. 12, 08, 2017. TLC 18,000 per cubic millimeter. Complaints of considerable pain in abdomen, headache, sips of water, extremely distressed, constipation, unable to pass gas. 13, 08, 2017. TLC, 14,000 per cubic millimeter. Complaints of insomnia, headache, tenderness in abdomen, weakness, tolerating sips of coconut water, and, T. 14, 08, 2017. TLC, 11,000 per cubic millimeter. Tolerating soft diet, can ambulate with assistance, complained of weakness. Referred dietitian recommended diabetic diet. 15, 08, 2017, TLC, 8,000 per cubic millimeter, able to ambulate slowly, independent with ADLs. 16, 08, 2017, patient stable, accepting orally well, adequate urine output, TLC showing improving trend, patient stable, referred endocrinologist, regular chart BSL, injection human McStard. 
subcutaneously BD, 12 hourly, 8 units, 1 week, before breakfast, and, 6 units, before dinner. Assessment, patient stable with plan for interval appendectomy, 6 weeks. Medications, tablet dolo, paracetamol, 650 mg, TID, 8 hourly for 3 days, then PRN. Tablet pantocide, pantoprazole, 40 mg main, for 10 days. Tablet tenorid, 25 mg adenolol, main. Tablet superdine, multivitamin, main. Tablet farobac, 200 BD. Discharge plan, avoid strenuous activities or travel. Advised to lose weight, exercise program to start after appendectomy. Normal diabetic diet, and, low fat diet. Patient requests more information, especially simple recipes that can be easily prepared at home. Monitoring of fasting, and, postprandial blood sugars, present chart during follow-up consultation. Follow-up in OPT on 2308, 2017, at 3 p.m. Husband advised to contact us immediately, in case of persistent high-grade fever, or, pain, at 0-2-2-9-2-2-3-4. Patient concerned regular monitoring of blood glucose levels, and, insulin injections. Husband requests home visit for demonstration. Writing task. Using the information given in the case notes, write a referral letter to Ms. Rashmi, St. Joseph, Nursing Home Care Agency, Perth, requesting a home visit, to provide instructions on self-monitoring of blood glucose levels, and, administering insulin injections, following Mrs. Vinod's discharge. In your answer, expand the relevant case notes into complete sentences. Do not use note form. Use letter format. Referral letter. As it is a referral letter to a nursing home care, it is important to provide information on medical history, and, ongoing care required. This is a referral letter to the nursing home care agency, so the name, and, the address of the recipient, is it as per the question. The discharge date is given on the letter. Start the letter with the salutation along with the name of recipient. Introduction deals with, what the recipient of the letter need to do about it. Followed by, next paragraph which consists of all the medical history, and, treatment details, which are relevant to the referral. Next paragraph, deals about the discharge plan, and, further treatment plans. Concluding sentence should be about the required reports, and, assurance, that the recipient can contact you at any point of time if necessary. Sign off the letter with your job title. Sample letter. 16-08-2017. Miss Rushmi. St. Joseph, Nursing Home Care Agency. Perth. Mrs. Ashwarya Vinod, aged 58. Dear Ms. Reshmi, I write this letter to request a home visit for Mrs. Vinod, a diabetic patient, who needs education on self-monitoring her blood glucose levels, and, administering insulin injections. She has had type 2 diabetes, since 2010, and, has poor adherence to its management. She presented to us on, 11, 08, 2017, and, was diagnosed with acute appendicitis. During hospitalization, the adopted treatment plan included conservative management and plan for interval appendectomy six weeks later. Her recovery has been promising so far and she is being discharged back home today. She has been educated regarding the role of nutrition in effectively controlling her diabetes by the dietitian. Moreover, the hospital endocrinologist has advised her to chart blood glucose daily and control her sugar levels with insulin injections until her follow-up visit scheduled on 23-08-2017. She is accepting of this but feels that she is not skilled at doing these herself. Consequently, on her husband's request, I am requesting you to visit the patient at her home and provide necessary guidance so that she can competently perform these procedures without any failure or complication. All the relevant reports are enclosed with this letter. If you have any further inquiries, please do not hesitate to contact me. Yours sincerely, your name. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and encourage us.
subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.